Greetings everyone, today we're going to be building an epic 12 core gaming PC and workstation. Let's get started. The two CPUs I will be using are the Intel Xeon X5650s with 6 cores and 12 threads each for a total of 12 cores and 24 threads. I picked these up for $17 each. The graphics card I chose is the GTX 780 Ti. Now, I know it's a couple years old, but it still outperforms a 1060, and for only $200, it's still a great card, capable of 1080p high settings with more than 60 FPS on most modern games. For RAM, I went with 24 gigs of DDR3 ECC memory. I'm using 6 out of the 12 RAM slots on the motherboard, and I needed to go with ECC because it's the only RAM the board will support. For storage, I used a 120GB Kingston SSD and a 1TB Western Digital Black Drive, which should be plenty of storage for a while. The motherboard holding all of this is the Supermicro X8 DTIF with dual LGA 1366 sockets and 12 RAM slots. And to cool the processors, I'm using two Cooler Master Hyper 212 EVOs. Since the motherboard came with two different Xeons and heatsinks, I needed to remove them before I installed my new ones. After removing the old processors, I installed my new ones. The CPUs went in fine, but I ran into a bit of trouble with the heatsinks. The motherboard does not support third-party heatsinks, but there's a solution. I simply screwed in four M3 standoffs into each of the heatsink mounts, then installed the Hyper 212s. Next, I moved on to the RAM. This part's pretty simple, I just slotted the RAM into the slots. It's pretty straightforward. Now for the fun part of installing the graphics card. I took the 780 Ti out of its box and just slotted it into the motherboard. And of course, we can't forget about the power supply. I used a Corsair CX650 semi-modular 650 watt power supply for the PC. After that was opened, I needed to plug all of the power cables into the parts. 
so I could test the parts. And luckily everything powered on with no problem. Now I needed my case. I unboxed my Cooler Master Masterbox 5 and set it down on the table. I then installed my motherboard as well as my hard drive and SSD. Then I added my GPU followed by my sound card. And yes, I did say sound card. Because I'm using a server board, there's no onboard audio, so I needed to use the card. And that's it, my complete PC build. So far it's been great and handled everything I've thrown at it, like gaming, video editing, and virtual machines. Sorry that this video is so late, I didn't really have much time to work on it. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed. Stay tuned for part 2 where I show some benchmarks.